Most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living or return with having. There is a presumption that people have the right to safety, privacy, and preservation of life in America. We have a growing fury coming across America of entitlement thinking that I am entitled to threaten you. And yet, isn't it interesting that when these young people threaten people all day long with their foul language and their foul words and their physical addresses of I'm a big man and I'm going to put you down attitudes that when we respond back, it's us who gets called upon in a way that is illegal, immoral, and record-making. The hard part about American companies is not just the hoodlum employees that they hire, but it's the families associated with them that they don't prepare the employee to handle. In America, every human being has rights, and your employee needs to presume that if someone's on the cell phone or if someone's outside that, and they are on the job, they have no right to pretend in any way that that person, that stranger, that visitor, that guest, that potential customer is talking to them. In America, we have the rights to the privacy of our phone calls. In America, we have the right to the preservation of our phone numbers. Since my cyber attack on my life began, I've had someone hacking my telephones to my family in Japan. Now, at this time, it doesn't matter whether I have them anymore, but in case I needed to provide them from any, for anyone about any issue in the past, they don't, I don't have them anymore because someone not only took my second computer when I was in another city, but someone has deleted my contacts in my online profile, which wasn't their right to do. I'm the only one who owns my company. I'm the only one who I know at this time that is participating in my business. In other words, there are people who like to steal logos and pretend they're someone, or steal business cards and pretend they're someone, and that's just not lawful in any way. It's called false advertising, it's called fraud, and it is an abuse of every aspect of intellectual property and copyright law.